Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rise. I'm back here at Loki Subaru in Port Ritchie, Florida, because guess what? We have the all new 2020 Outback, totally redesigned. The best part is I wanted to specifically do this one because I know that we're doing many different trims. This is gonna be that value price premium trim level. So let's talk a little bit about Outback history. Outback has been in Subaru's lineup since 1994, if you could believe that. It really was that lifted wagon. And when you look at it today, the 2020 model, it still has that wagon appearance that's been lifted. Now for 2020, this is the first time that the Outback is sitting on Subaru's global architecture. That's the same shared platform that the Ascent is now on, Impreza, Outback, so on and so forth. What's great about it is that that chassis is 70% more rigid and it allows the Outback to actually be a little bit longer and a little bit wider. So let's go ahead, dive into the all new 2020 Outback. Right off the bat, you'll see it still has those traditional lines. I love what Subaru has done with the headlight design, daytime running lamps. I like the blacked out section of the housing, really makes it look sleek. And with the silver, spot on as we drop down you do have that nice abs flat black plastic that's going to take a beating because remember this thing with its full symmetrical all-wheel drive 8.7 inches of ground clearance is actually a pretty capable off-road vehicle it would surprise you but you have lighting down here and i like the little extra design that they brought in nice touch now as we come across the front You'll notice with that headlight design, look at how the front fascia kind of integrates into the headlight housing. That nice design of a grill. Subaru is really smartened up and I really like the way they're using this grill design as part of their image. You have a flat silver that goes across the center and integrates that classic, iconic Subaru logo. And then I also like the two horizon uh, horizontal uh, lines here in the grill, flat black, really gives some character with some chrome trim around it. As we drop down, you have that same open center area down low with the flat black to really just match everything in. Now, as you go on different trim levels, there would be a little bit of color here, but on this premium, I like the flat black look and it's gonna just take a beating a lot better than paint. As we get up onto the hood, you'll see body lines that start in the front fascia and then two all the way up in the center as they disappear once they get close to the windshield. Great look. The vehicle does have a little bit extra overhang up front and out rear as well. And I think it really just helps the lines of the vehicle overall. You got that same flat black goes all the way around the fender treatment. This is gonna be your standard wheel. So this is that machined aluminum, that dark gray metallic. This is a 17 inch wheel. I like the way the Outback sit it really shows their intention of being something that you could easily go down that trail road and get a little off-road terrain going on. Nice body lines in the fender treatment. Going into the mirrors, here's where we start to see a little bit more high upscale fit and feel. I like the way the chrome trim comes off the door and goes into the mirror. You have your LED lighting. That silver has been brought onto the mirror, even at the premium trim. Chrome trim goes all the way around the windows top and bottom. Love the roof rails that they put on this. Very rugged, you get the Subaru crossbars, you could put just about anything up top. Like the flat black as well down low, it really shows the flow from front to back on this vehicle. And then of course that traditional Outback name, 1994. Subaru has so many models that are just standouts that have been around for a very long time. Love the quarter window. And then coming out back, I love the taillights. It's all blacked out. LED lighting, you got that low roof spoiler coming off. And then as we drop down, a nice bumper protector here that's flat black, because we know the kids, as they pull their stuff out, it's gonna hit here, that's gonna protect it, keep it looking nice for a longer time. Real simple on the design, I like it. It doesn't need to be all this fake vent looking stuff. And then look at all the ground clearance, 8.7 inches, your exhaust is tucked up nice and high. And then of course you have that iconic Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive all the time. Let's go ahead, pop the hood, and see what's different for 2020 in this Outback. All right, guys, now a lot of the excitement for 2020 is because the Outback does have the XT trim option with the turbocharged engine. 
This does not, I specifically wanted to feature this one because I know a lot of you wanted to see it. So this is that 2.5 liter flat four naturally aspirated. The good news is for 2020, they've increased horsepower up by seven horsepower. It's 182 horsepower, 176 pound feet of torque. That's two more pound feet of torque than the previous generation. And we are on the sixth generation of the Outback, if you could believe that all mated to a CVT transmission that has simulated shifting in it, 26 on the city, 33 on the highway when it comes to MPGs, zero to 60 in about 8.5 seconds. If you want something quicker, if you want something that's gonna tow a little bit more, that's what that XT option is. Weight, you're looking at 3,416 uh, pounds and it could tow about 2,700 pounds. What's also great is because of the global platform that this sits on, this has been crash safety tested, crash safety tested, all the way up to 2023 standards. So this is a 2020, three years into the future, gonna keep you and your family safe. But while we go ahead, it's got more horsepower. Let's see what this 2020 Outback. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Outback. This one, that premium trim level, I know a lot of you are asking, hey, Joe, the outside's redone, the inside's redone. What's the price on all of this redesign? MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is right at uh, $31,000. Now, let me first point out that the premium still has your key ignition, which I know some of you still love, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in and fire it up, and we're gonna take a look at what's different for 2020. Let's go to the door panels. Now, I like what's going on door panel-wise. A lot of different colors. My only zonk is that cloth material. I don't like that. I wish they would have went with a different material, but I do like the way there's nice soft leather style material on the armrest, the stitching, and they even brought the gray up top as well, which is really nice. Well, now as we go from the door panel to the dash, very, very soft material. I love the way the gray comes in. You have a nice little cubby here to put just about anything, candy bars, Snickers, whatever. Here's some of that cloth. I'm zonking it. I don't like the cloth on it, but what I do absolutely positively love is the upgraded 11.6 inch infotainment system. What's wonderful is that you have multiple levels of information. You could actually scroll up top. Of course, you have your Starlink system in the middle, and then you also have things like your different controls for X mode, turning it on and off and whatnot, your driver assistance, and then you could also set up driver profiles, which is really nice, and also access your full AC from within the car. Look how clear the graphics are, very nice. You do have buttons as well to lower and raise the temperature in the car, and you could go right back to home. Electric e-brake, a little bit of gloss black, a nice pocket here with two USBs and an aux jack. My only zonk is I wish there was a lid here. This is gonna be controlling that CVT transmission, like the shifter, the leather, the stitching, nice soft leather here, two cup holders, love the armrest here. Open it up, you got a little tray for breath mints, and then you can lift that up, and you have more room and a 12 volt. If you don't want the tray, you go like this and like that, magic trick. Seats, love the color. They are cloth in the premium, but you do have very durable material, and I like the design that they have going on. It really adds to the flavor. Another thing that they hit the nail on the head on is how wide the doors open, real easy to get in and out. But why don't you come over to the business end, I'll show you behind the wheel of this 2020 Outback. All right guys, driver's side on the 2020 Outback premium level. You can see you do get electric assist seating, which is really great for the driver. Lots of room, lots of space, and I'm telling you, I love this 11.6 inch system for the infotainment. Steering wheel, same story. Really digging the size the thickness of the rim of the steering wheel, the contrast crisscross stitching, the silver that's on here, nice horn button. All your switch gear is easy to get to. It's flat black. You do have those paddles to go through those simulated gears in the CVT transmission. This one also has a frameless auto dimming mirror, which is an extra nice touch, which I recommend getting. And then of course, you're gonna have that straightforward analog gauge setup tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, coolant, and then you have that digital display in the center, which is a really nice touch as well. So they have it super set up in here to where you can just get to just about anything. And these seats are just 
They're really, really wonderful. Not hitting any of the pressure points, but why don't we go ahead, check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like the new Outback. All right, guys, back seat time. What's amazing is just as up front, I had a wonderful amount of room. Same amount of room back here, tons of headroom. I'm six feet tall, feeling good. I like the backs of the seats being a darker color. That's gonna be great for your kids. If they have sticky fingers, won't really show up as much. Nicely done. Good texture on the materials. Armrests, padded, two cup holders. You don't have any rear AC, but they literally take care of you technology-wise with two USB jacks. So that's a wonderful touch. Of course, at the premium level, you're not gonna get the rear AC vents. You gotta go up a little bit more, but you know what? Overall, the space back here is wonderful, and this is why I like Outbacks better than SUVs. But why don't we go ahead, check out that cargo area, and see how much room we have. All right, guys, time to check out the cargo area. We're gonna push the button. There's no electric assist on the premium, but it is, is very easy to get up. If you wanna go ahead and move that security shade, look at all that room that you have here. I love how Subaru offers the weather protection, all weather protection on the backs of the seats and also on the back cargo area as well. You got little cargo areas on the side to put extra material. And then to put the seats down, it's a breeze. I mean, you literally just pull that one handle and you can see how the seats fold down very nicely, maximum room in this Outback. That's all thanks to that global platform. But why don't we get to the best part? Let's go ahead and take this 2020 Outback for a spin. Here we are driving around in the new Outback. I love the view out the front windshield. The A pillars are pulled nicely out of the way. And I like the way that Subaru does the corner windows all the way down and it really just opens up visibility in here and makes it so easy to drive. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is remember, this has the updated EyeSight technology. That's that system that Subaru has patented and used with all their vehicles now as they transition from model to model as they get redesigned. This one updated, it's smaller the housing and really allows you to have an unobstructed view out the front windshield because the original EyeSight system was much bulkier and it could really take your attention away from what you're trying to uh, scan when you're looking out the front windshield. Seats are very, very supportive, perfectly put together for your body. And I really feel like I could go hundreds and hundreds of miles, no problem behind the wheel of this 2020 Outback. Visibility out the back window, piece of cake. Armrests are nicely padded and in the right spots. The center console is a little on the higher side, but you know what? The shifter is perfectly placed and then you have that nice little cubby area, which I wish I had a lid, so I am gonna zonk that, but you have a nice cubby area there, like I pointed out earlier, that has the USBs and the aux jack nicely positioned. All right, guys, pulling away on throttle. Now remember, this one does have a little bit more horsepower than the 2019. You still, if you need more horsepower than what the standard Outback has, you do have the option of the XT, which is the turbocharged engine. Of course, with the all-wheel drive, you do not have to worry about grip. It gets the power down so nicely, and it's smooth. Probably one of the better CVT transmissions that are out there on the market today compared to some of the other brands. The one thing to remember is that the flat six is no longer in production. The flat six has been replaced by the XT, which is the flat four turbocharged. Into this right hand turn here, nice and smooth. Of course, in Florida, we always have people that just roll out. So you gotta be careful, but that's the great news. With the EyeSight technology, and with it being up very high behind the windshield, it doesn't get covered with mud and snow and dirt and sand and gravel and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna stay nice and clean so that it functions properly. Because you know and I know, a lot of those other systems and other brands, they get covered, they stop functioning. And with this, it's gonna keep you safe 24-7. Pulling away here, let me go ahead and get on throttle. The pavement's a little wet, traction is down, smooth, CBT doing those simulated shifts. So I am happy that it has those simulated shifts.
programmed in there. I'm just curious how this Outback would behave if it had an actual automatic transmission, like an eight speed or something like that. But handling in an Outback is really great. Even though it, technically it's a lifted wagon, they still handle really, really well and are gonna keep you safe no matter what. All right guys, driving down this road, very smooth, very, very quiet inside. I really like that overall. It's got a great, solid, rugged feel. And you could really tell that global platform doing its job, feeling really, really good. And then of course, like we showed earlier, you have all that space in the back for whatever you're hauling. And if you need to haul more, like actually tow, then you get the XT. If you're fine with 2,700 pounds or so, then you could go with this premium and save yourself the additional money that is involved by going up to the XT. But very, very impressed with what Subaru has done with this Outback and how it's changed, but it's yet remained the same in a good way. But we're gonna go ahead, hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel for the 2020 Outback premium trim level. We're gonna wrap this up, get back to Loki Subaru. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, another magical day here at Loki Subaru with this 2020 Outback. Is it a winner? I'm gonna say definitely two thumbs up. Subaru has done a great job with this Outback, especially offering those different trim levels and also a different engine option with that turbocharged XT. But if these are the things you like to see on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. Definitely gotta thank Montel, Larry, and Spencer for allowing us access to this 2020 Outback. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Motioner, working out, getting ready for his big meet, taking photos. Check him out on Instagram, at Photos and wish him well for his competitions. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.